hello welcome to the vlog this is ayuka why am i dressed in a tie in front of a table you may ask it is because i am filming a apology video right now you'll see you'll see but this week and next i'm going to a lot of club events and events in general at ccd so i'll be highlighting it here on this channel so stick around including my very own club that my friend and i started the product design collective it's our very first event and this is also the video that i'm filming right now for the apology video so yeah that's a little teaser <laughs> I'm in here now because outside is the loudest air conditioning in the world and I am currently making a TikTok for CCAD about the mid autumn festival that I, that I was just at and um, I'm gonna do a voiceover so let me get my little sound booth going get as much close-up audio as possible yeah I gotta make the yeah um I gotta sound excited I gotta sound excited I gotta sound excited and my voice has so much emotions Okay. And that's how we celebrate the Mid-Autumn Festival. Mid-Autumn Festival is a family reunion celebration for the full moon and blessing for the new crops. It's usually said, but... Let's do it again. Gotta act happy. And that's how we celebrate the Mid-Autumn Festival. Mid-Autumn Festival is a family reunion celebration for the full moon and blessing for the new crops. It's 9 o'clock. I don't think anybody's here. Um, but I still have a whole nother presentation to do and I'm just now going home. I need a clock out, oh my god. What a model! <laughs> oh, no. Maybe show the pin a little. Like, hold it like you like this, maybe. <laughs> Why do I have like a billion things all the time? It looks like, um, like a food eating contest. How do you feel, Steel? I feel so excited. Oh my gosh, I'm excited. I, there's nothing greater in the world <laughs> than this, than this right here. I hope it goes I can't well. wait. How do you feel? <laughs> nervous. Really? But excited. I'm not nervous. I'm just like excited that I'm shaking. <laughs> and exciting this. Exciting? The, the whole, the whole film is gonna be shaking now. <laughs> Um, this is our first ever our product design. Ayuka's gonna try and film and not be loud. You guys are amazing for coming out, so thank you. Do um, you have any announcements, Ayuka? Thanks for coming. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so as soon as you're ready, you can start making your character. We have air dry clay down here. We also have oven baked clay. If you have an oven, or we run out of air dry clay. How was the event? It was amazing. It was so yeah. freaking good. Yeah. How many people did we get? 41 in total, I think. Okay. Something like that. Yeah. The goal is to beat that for next time. Oh. oh. I think we can do it. I hope so. What are we doing next time? Mascot. Redesigning the mascot. Ooh, that'd be fun. Ooh. Yeah. I'm this far in. I can't stop. Like honestly, if I stopped, if I stopped and destroyed this clay, this has all been a waste. I came here after work, hungry as shit. Like what? Like what was I? What am I supposed to do? Not finish the shark keyboard? No, finish the shark keyboard. To build this shark, to put my key, no, 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 no. to put my keys in, because it was going to be so cool on my countertop. And you're telling me, I, like, now I just gotta fucking break it? Like, it doesn't even do it? Dude, I swear to God, the this shit, nah, nah, nah. Nope, just nope, cover nope, it, nope. cover it in, like, glue or something. Breaking news. Product Design Collective's first ever meeting turns into a scandal using never-drying clay instead of oven-baked clay. Some kids. 
So yeah, I was at Roto. Roto is like an exhibit design firm company where they design all the cool exhibits. But I wasn't there just to stalk kids. I was helping out and sitting in on one of their exhibit evaluation analysis thing where kids come in and they will help them test out the prototypes and the games and the exhibit that they're building for. Can't post any like pictures or videos of it, but I did do some sketches like I always do. So yeah, look at them just mingling and helping us determine what's good, what's not, what's working, what's not fun, or what's super fun and all that stuff. They're super intelligent too, so it actually helped me a lot in designing for my own exhibit idea. I'm on a walk for Hope right now, or a block around the school for Suicide Awareness Month. So I'm getting content for that right now. CAD's first Suicide Campus and Awareness Walk. I personally wanted to create it. About to go to CXC, Columbus Cartoon Crossroads, and go see some comics. I have to go film like several alumni, CCD alumni, and highlight them at CXC. But I don't know who the alumni are, and it's so like nerve-wracking just going up to people, being like, "Are you an alumni?" So and there's a lot of people, and I don't want to like take away from their customer time. But it's okay. I got this. It's only gonna take 10 seconds, so it's okay. Oh my god. I was actually kind of successful at the end. I found a lot of alumni and I just happened to like recognize some of them too. So yay me for being social and a stalker online. I made three TikToks out of that whole event. So hopefully it'll be used and it's good. I did get tickets to go see this manga artist talk and do like a little talk session thing, but do I know this manga artist? No. Did I sign up purely because he's Japanese? Yes, yes I did. And I will go see that. I'm finally home. I am so tired, but I am eating coconut sticky rice. It is so good. But I just got home from Keito Gaku's talk at CCD for the Cartoon Columbus Crossroad event, but it was so nice to just sit back and relax. I thought I felt like today was just like a go go go. My brain was on fire the whole entire day, and I was like debating on whether or not I should go because I was so tired. I just wanted to like sleep, but it was actually super nice. I'm so glad I went. What I was most impressed about was the translator or interpreter, interpreter, interpreter. You know what I'm trying to say. But the fact that she can just listen to another language and speak it at the same time while they are speaking in a different language? What? How do you even do that? That's insane! I even stutter in one language. But it was super cool listening to the question in English, listening to the answer in Japanese, and listening to the summary of the answer in English. So, and some words she would like the interpreter will like skip over so I feel like I got to know like all of it but no none of the other people did so that was fun I got to like laugh before everybody else did it must be kind of awkward for him though he'll like make like a sarcastic joke or a comment and me or like the interpreter will kind of like giggle but nobody everybody else is silent like that must be kind of awkward I uploaded all three of the TikToks so tomorrow I get to sit back. No, I don't. No, I don't. I got accepted into two art markets for the holidays. So, I gotta prepare for them. Oh my god. Oh my god. But that is the end of this week and all the events, all the crazy events. Now I need to like recharge my social energy battery because it's gone. It's been long gone. And I just need... I can't even like listen to music or a podcast. I'm just like, I don't need anybody speaking into my ears anymore. So yeah, I'm gonna just sit in silence and do my homework. <laughs> Yay!